Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Wrestling UK. <laughs> I don't even know my name. Um, I've been focusing more on my other channel, Mamip, which I think you should subscribe to because you're all amazing people. Anyway, a couple of you have been requesting for me to show you how to do YouTube thumbnails like mine. And it's really easy when you know how to do it. It's just learning. That's the hard part. It's not learning. It's not the hard part. It's knowing all the like, dimensions. Like, I still don't know them off by heart. And like knowing how how to make them look professional. Or not because mine don't look profe professional. But I don't know. It's just a thumbnail. It's better than just somewhat on the video in it so what you need to do is you need to first of all go on to Google images and you see this here highlighted what you need to do is you need to go on images oh. type in the color background you want so say blue I just type in blue and then what you need to do is you need to go into settings, advanced search, no you don't, no you don't, go back, don't do that people, this is it, search tools, size, then you need to go on exactly, one, two, eight, ho, 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 <laughs> And then 720. Cool. Right, and then you just scroll down. I normally go for a full blocked background, but like this. And then save image. Just tutorial. Save it in this one. save and then you open a new tab and you go you type in pixeler.com I'll put a link in the description to this site and then I normally go on efficient because it seems the most easiest and most productive and then browse then pictures and then you choose your background you keep it that size and then you can do loads of editing things down here. And then if you, if you want like a picture of a wrestler, let's say Layla, you type in your wrestler. Then after you put PNG. This will mean that when you save the image, the background will be transparent. Okay. So you can go on any size. See, All right. So let's just pick a recent one. Um, I don't know. Let's pick so many. We're gonna pick normally the top ones are the most best. So we'll pick this one. No. Um also if you want it to match your thing, you can go search tools then background colour. Then it'll be blue. Don't really see any PNGs of it. Which is blue. Let's just pick a random one. Let's go with this one. This one. Oh, stupid adult pop ups, what's it called? What's this? Do we... Clicked on the stupid pop up thing. Why do I need you? I don't piss off. <sighs> right. 
so we'll get this one save image and then save it make sure it's a PNG image or it will be a transparent background you can go back onto Pixlr and then this this up here you go on adjustments add image browse and then this one and then you can make it bigger like that there you can also go on effects like that and stuff and if you want you in the thumbnail like I have myself in the thumbnail you need to get a get picture of yourself on your computer and then you go into paint paint or photoshop but I don't know how to do it on photoshop then you go and paste from just get a picture of me and then you click on this click on freeform selection and then transparent selection and what I like to do I like to zoom in so it's on the pixels and then you just go around yourself and then make sure you do a loop yeah, to connect it back so it's like a square in the background and then you press delete like that you do up do that all the way through like all the way around to how you want it and then just zoom back out and see if you like it so yeah and then what you need to do is you need to go onto lunar pick com you go on this to make it a transparent background you go and browse um, browse it'll load up you choose your image and then it'll load up and then you go on to edit scroll down to the bottom click transparent mine's already transparent but click transparent and then you just click it, click the white background and then it'll make it transparent but sometimes your eyes, like my eyes are white so if that goes transparent then it's best to use a black I mean it's best to use a white, a white background so it don't look weird like a weird colour in your eye and then go look onto Pixlr add image, browse Look, like I have a thing here, so it's best to use the white background, but I'm just going to use this. Make it bigger, it's best to use the full screen, like apply, and then you can add text, and there's loads of different types of text. Let's go. Like that, you can change the colour of it, make it bigger, make it smaller. And there you go, that's your thumbnail. But if you want a custom thumbnail, you're going to have to become a YouTube partner, which means you have to montage your videos and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you look that up on YouTube or on Google, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you'll find it because I've forgotten. I've actually forgotten how to do that. And if you look on my other channel, I am now partnered with Awesomeness TV. So... Please, please, please go check out my other channel and look at my videos. If you like them, then leave a like rating or favourite. And maybe subscribe if you want to. That'll be nice. Thanks, guys. Bye.